Hello, good evening, welcome. How are you doing, Mauricio? I'm fine. Great, great. One hundred percent. I'm sorry. One hundred percent. Great. Yes. There you go. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. I see they're coming now. All right. Good. Good. They are joining. So. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. We're going to start a class. It's eight o'clock. So we want to be punctual at least the um, last day, by, but one, right, of this course. This is the penultimate, right? The penultimate day. Welcome. Maybe your classmates are trapped in a jam, tra in a traffic jam, right? Yeah. Eight of one now. Okay. Is it everybody ready to start? Por ahí les mandé una canción. A ver. Por ahí les mandé una canción. Ya la escucharon. Did you hear the song? Did you listen to the song I sent? Yeah. Okay. Did you like it? Did you know it? Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Yes. That's a very good song. It's a... Uh... Good evening. Oh, good evening. How are you doing? Yay. Uh -huh. We cannot show it over here and we cannot play it, but I sent it through the WhatsApp for you to listen to it because we want to do some exercises based on that song. That song was written in the simple past tense, right? Because he's telling a story. And today we want to learn how to retell a story. Okay, how to retell. Retell means that you listen to a story and then you tell the story. Okay, or maybe you were in an event or maybe uh, in, uh, something happened, you were present and then you have to tell what happened, okay? Like as a manner of ordering the event, saying who did what, what happened, when did it happen, when did it happen, uh, how did it happen? So this is what we are going to practice today. And also we want to, <laughs> recommend we want to learn to recommend um, according to the needs or or according of what we are seeing that the needs in our companies are um we are going to recommend and also request the trainings and um, courses or any other kind of talent development all right so Anything that's going to be as a profit for our career, all right, then, or a profit for our company, if we specialize, if we technify, all right, then we're going to recommend it and also we are going to try to request it to the right area, okay? So, what does the song say? A ver, ¿quién me canta un pedacito de la canción lo que se le quedó? Hmm? Cántenme un pedacito, vamos a ver. <laughs> y todos se van así, apagan la cámara. No, hombre, chicos, hey, come on. <laughs> Enciendan la cámara. Turn on your cameras. 
Miren, aunque este sea un curso online, es un curso presencial. Se requiere el 100% de asistencia y de participación, chicos. Vamos. <ríe> ya los vi que se están escondiendo. Please, come on. Turn your camera on. Ajá. So, what was the song about? ¿De qué era la canción? Vamos a ver. ¿Alguien recuerda cómo se llama la canción? What's the title? Return, Return to Sender. Return to Sender, yes. Return to Sender. What idea does it give you? ¿Qué idea les da? A ver. Como regresar al, al, al camino, algo así. Al, uh, alinearse, the... no sé. Ajá, ajá, okay. Yeah. Okay, good point. I haven't seen it that way, pero Return to Sender es una, es un sello que le ponen a los paquetes, a las cartas, ¿verdad? Cuando el que lo va a recibir no lo quiere recibir y por alguna razón lo envía de regreso al que lo envió. Sender es la persona que envía algo, ¿ok? And the recipient es el que lo recibe, ¿ya? Entonces, vamos a... Escuchar la canción ahorita mientras yo voy a eh, mostrarles algunas cosas en las que se deben fijar, ¿ok? En la canción. Bien, vamos a ver, permítanme. Ahorita pongan la canción y empiecen a escucharla, ¿ok? No le pongan, no pongan el audio ni compartan su audio porque, pues, por los derechos de, de autor, ¿verdad? Pero ustedes empiecen a escucharla ahí. Y yo les voy a sacar el slide. En esto se tienen que fijar. Vamos a ver. So, here it is. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening, Wendy. How are you doing tonight? Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Ahorita estamos escuchando la canción. Listen to the song. La que tenemos en el WhatsApp. El que ya vaya terminando de escucharla, levanta la mano para saber que ya todos la oyeron.
Bye. La, la canción es cortita, ¿verdad? La canción dura tres, menos de tres minutos. Vaya, vamos a ver. A ver, platiquemos de la canción. Por ahí les pasé unas preguntas, ¿sí? Some questions. A ver, veamos en esas preguntas para ir entendiendo un poquito de qué trata la canción, ¿sí? What is this song about? What is the song about? A ver, ¿de qué es la canción? Mauricio, tell us. And this, this song is uh, the man recite leather. Okay. But he returned the letter because uh, Don't have no. He know. Mm -hmm. Dirección. Uh -huh. Address. Innoble. Innoble. Address. Dirección desconocida. Perdón. Oh, okay. Unknown. Address unknown. Unknown. Mm -hmm. Eh. Address unknown, ¿verdad? Address unknown, ya. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Vaya, empecemos he, por he, ver. He, Ajá. Dígame, dígame. He broke their back. Oh, ok. Vaya, vamos a ver entonces. I'm going to try to um, clear just a little details, all right? Some, uh, we could say, Little details to understand who is who. Okay, quién es quién en la canción. So, a quiénes menciona en la canción. Vamos a ver qué personajes hay en la canción. A postman. postman. A postman. Uh huh. What people? A postman. Uh mm -hmm. Talk about a she. She. Ah. Uh -huh. But don't know the name. Okay, it's like a she. girl, right? She, aha, uh -huh. okay. She, who else? Aha. Uh -huh. Solo son tres, ¿verdad? The person who wrote the letter, right? ¿Cómo se llama a alguien que envía una, que escribe una carta y la envía? ¿Cómo se llama eso? Se llama sender. Sender. Yes, sender. The sender. Mm -hmm. sender. So, a person who wrote the letter and sent it, that was the sender, all right? The sender. So, we are seeing three people here, and they have different mm, eh, shows, right? So, for example, here it says the postman. Aha. Uh -huh. But the first thing that he says mm -hmm, is that he wrote a letter, right? Did he wrote yeah. the did he, did he write the letter? Did he write the letter? A ver, veamos la pregunta que tenemos acá. Miren, did the man write the letter? Did the man write the letter? Who wrote the letter? Who is the sender? A ver, who is the sender? Who is the sender? Did the man write the letter or did the woman write the letter? 
who wrote the letter? The man. The man, right? Who is the sender? The man. All right. The man who is telling the story, right? Okay. Let's think about what did the letter say? What was the letter about? What did the letter say? ¿Qué decía la, la carta? What did the letter say? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Por ahí les envié un link donde está la lyric, ¿ok? Hagamos un poquito de trampa y vamos a leerla, a ver. El último link. What did the letter say? A ver, ¿qué decía esa carta? ¿Dice la canción o no dice la canción? I gave a leader of the postman. Ajá, ok. He, He gave the letter to the postman, right? Mm -hmm. Ok. Postman. Pero ¿qué iba escrito en esa carta? A ver. He won't mention it, teacher. Doesn't it? All right, let's continue with the other and we are going to find out, all right? It says, who did return the letter to the sender? Who returned it? Who returned it? Mm -hmm. The girl. The girl, right? The girl. Okay, so what did she write upon the letter? What did she write upon the letter? Encima de la carta que escribió. What did she write upon the letter? Return to, to sender. Return to sender. Yes, return to sender. Okay. But when did the postman give the letter back? Next morning. The early next morning, right? But early next morning, early next morning. All right. Uh huh. And why did she return the letter over and over? Because they fired. Because of what? They fired. Creo que sí se dice que pelearon. Fight it, fight it. Uh -huh. Okay, uh -huh. but what kind of fight did they have? What kind of, what kind of fight did they have? Mm -hmm. A lover's pet. A lover's pet, yes. A lover's pet. Uh -huh. Yeah, una riña, verdad, diamantes, nada más. O sea, pero la chica sí se la tomó en serio, verdad? Y ella sí se la tomó en serio. Y vaya, vaya. Que no recibió la carta. She didn't receive the letter. Ok. Ahora pensemos. ¿Qué habría en esa carta? What do you think that the letters could say? What would the letter say? Apologies. Oh, yay. Apologies, maybe. Yeah. Apologies. Ajá. Uh -huh. Or who knows, maybe he was uh, making her, I mean, making uh, her feel guilty, right? Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> We don't know. But let's think that he was apologizing, right? He was apologizing. All right, allow me to uh, show this thing in another way, right? Just one thing in another way because we want to retell the story, okay? We want to retell a story. Queremos usar el tiempo pasado para contar una historia. Él está contando una historia. Contemos nosotros la historia del hombre, ¿verdad? Okay, vamos a ver. A ver, podemos 
decir así. Eh, los hombres de la clase van a contar la historia del hombre, ¿ok? Y las mujeres de la clase van a contar la historia de la mujer, ¿ok? <ríe> ¿Qué pudo haber sido que la mujer hizo? Bueno, según la canción, no vamos a inventar más, ¿verdad? Pero según la canción, ¿ok? Allow me to go right here and I will show in a different way, ¿all right? Vuelvan a poner la canción, sigan escuchando mientras yo saco esto, ¿ok? Aquí está. Hoy otra vez se fue igual. Okay, we're going to talk about the song that it is returned to center and we want to tell the story. Uh, los hombres van a contar lo del punto de vista del que está cantando, que es el hombre, y las mujeres del punto de vista que están recibiendo la carta, okay? Receiving the letter as the recipient. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's think about the same questions we did before. Pensemos según las eh, preguntas que acabamos de hacer para formarnos la idea y poder decir oraciones completas, ¿verdad? Ok, vamos a ver. What happened? What is the main idea? What happened in this situation? What is the main point of this song? That a letter was written, right? A letter was written. Mm -hmm. So this song is about a letter, right? This song is about a letter. Okay, let's see. What did the letter say, right? But let's look first. Did the man write the letter? Yes, he did. Armemos una oración a partir de ahí. Ajá. La primera oración sería, the man wrote the letter, ¿verdad? Okay. The man wrote the letter. Vayan agarrándolo los varones, ¿verdad? Como que ustedes son así. The man wrote the letter. What did the letter say? Ah, eso es lo que nos interesa, ¿verdad? Nos decía Nelly que probably is to apologize after a lover's spat, ¿verdad? Probablemente era una apologize, ¿verdad? Apology, perdón. Vamos a ver. Who did return the letter to the sender? Vamos a ver una respuesta. The girl returned the letter to the sender. Okay. What did she write upon the letter? Mm. Return to sender, address unknown, no such person, no such zone, no such number. So she doesn't want to see him anymore, right? <laughs> okay, there you go. When did the postman uh, give the letter back? Well, early the next morning. Okay, why did she return the letter over and over? Mm -hmm. Why did she return the letter over and over? Because she is angry and she, you tell me, all right? You tell me. Okay, vamos a ver entonces. Contemos la historia, Emerson, vamos a ver. Emerson, cuénteme usted la historia como que usted fuera el hombre, okay? Okay. The first, uh, I I will feel disappointment with myself. Okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. For fighting her. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I say to you, uh, I'm sorry, but don't care about her. Oh, oh, you you care about her. She doesn't care about you now. Uh -huh. Ajá. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Ajá, <laughs> uh ajá. -huh, uh -huh. Okay. She doesn't care. She doesn't care. No she importa. doesn't care. Okay. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
and always return my, my letters. Okay, okay. Vamos a ver. Thank you very much, Emerson. Now, José Bernardo, okay. cuéntenos la historia como que usted es el hombre. A ver, de qué pasó con esta carta que usted escribió o que el hombre escribió, como usted lo quiera decir. A ver. Okay. Um, we have a, a little fight. She got angry and he went away. So I wrote a letter to her asking for apologies and I sent it with the postman. But he returned returned the car to me many times. Finally, I couldn't wait anymore and I took the letter by myself and went to find her and I gave it back to her. Oh, and okay. ask for the apologies personally. Oh, good. Very romantic. Very good, Jose Bernardo. Yay. All right. Okay, vamos a ver. A ver, otro chico que nos cuente. Vladimir, tell us the story. Tell us the story as a, uh, as a man point of view. Uh -huh. Sorry. Are you driving? I have a problem with I have a problem with my neck. Oh, okay. Okay, no problem. It's okay, Vladimir. It's okay. Okay. Vamos a ver. ¿A quién más tenemos por aquí? Vamos a ver. Eduardo, tell us the story. Michelle. Uh-huh. <laughs> I have a problem with my neck. With my neck. Oh, all right. But, but we are able to hear you. Okay, no problem. It's okay. Vamos a ver. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, all right. A ver, Luis Javier. Tell us the story in your own way. Jose Alexander. Tell us the story in your own words. Jose Alexander. Pablo Adalberto. Hello. And she apologized the, uh, for the quarrel. Uh, uh, for the bus by the discussion. And he didn't want the loss of the girl. And uh, what I'm the result of her relationship with her. All right, Pablo, very good. It's a summarize, all right? It's a summary, very good, very good. Okay, hoy oigamos el punto de vista de las chicas, ¿verdad? Oigamos el punto de vista de las chicas. Vamos a ver, ¿con quién comenzamos? Who wants to start? A ver, ¿quién quiere comenzar? No se amontonen porque casi no se les oye. Solo una primero. Vamos a ver. A ver, a ver, a ver. Hey, girls. No se me vayan. No, hombre, que ustedes. A ver, a ver, a ver. Contemos okay, la historia. Ajá. Contemos la historia. Vamos a ver. Comencemos con... Ta Ay, Tatiana es un listener right now. All right. Uh, vamos a ver. Tenemos por ahí... Bueno, activas. No veo a ninguna, chicas. ¿Qué pasó? No puede ser que no defendamos al gremio. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. <ríe> Tenemos que estar unidas. Mujeres unidas. Vamos a ver. No, por Dios bendito. Vaya, vamos a ver. Claudia, ahí se es listener, dice ahí, ¿verdad? Wendy, there you go. Ajá. No sé, si será, Ajá. No sé okay. si será teacher. Tell us, tell us, don't worry. Eh, tell us. She wrote a uh, irritor to send her address a new, no such person, no such Sony. Sony. Ajá. Sí, va. Yes. Ajá. Eso es lo mm -hmm. que dice la canción. Yes, and no such number. So she doesn't want to see the man again, right? Yeah. Ajá. Okay. ¿Verdad que no lo quiere ver de regreso? 
Ajá. Es como que sí, le puso así, así Beto, ¿verdad? total. Cabal. Lo mandó, lo mandó a la friend zone. A la zona. Zona libre. Okay, uh -huh. Was she angry? What do you think? Was she angry? She was angry, right? She was angry. Maybe she was disappointed. Maybe she was disappointed. Maybe she was sad, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. And she didn't want to know anything about this man again, right? Okay. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know if when she, when this guy came to her house to give the letter personally, maybe she forgave him. We don't know, right? We don't know. But maybe not. <laughs> okay. All okay. right, people. Thank you very much, Wendy. You did it. Yes. Sure. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. I will stop sharing. Yeah. I will stop sharing. And now, vamos a cambiar de tema. A ver, respiremos. Ah, ya escuchamos la historia. Ah, por ahí tenemos a Nelly. Nelly, cuéntenos la historia. Tell us the story of the song. Ajá, Nelly, Nelly, <laughs> yes. Women, women, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, there you go. <laughs> He did he did something bad for our relationship and now he wrote my he wrote a letter for me. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, I don't okay. know anything about him anymore. So I will return yes, the letter uh, back again. Okay, but don't worry, my dear. You have to be strong. Don't accept him anymore. All right. <laughs> okay, great, Nelly. Great, great. Very good. Very good. She's angry. Are you sad, Nelly? Are you sad with the, huh? for that fight? No, I am empowerment. Oh, <laughs> all right. I'm so okay. sorry to hear that. All right. Thank you very much, Nelly. You did a very good job. Yeah. <laughs> okay, people. Bien, respiremos otra vez. Okay, respiremos. La idea no es estar estresado. La idea es botar el estrés, chicos, ¿verdad? Ahora los quiero oír cantar. Vamos a ver. Ajá. <laughs> Return to Sander. Ajá. A ver, a ver, a ver. Hay que poner la canción. <laughs> <risa> es que no la podemos poner por el copyright, ¿verdad? Pero por lo menos ya la escuchamos y nos divertimos un ratito. Ok, people. So now, allow me to show you a story. Now, you are going to read a story about a person who traveled to a training, all right? She traveled to a training, so you are going to listen to her experience, And then you are going to answer some questions, all right? I will play an audio. So please listen carefully, all right? Pay attention, okay? Hmm, stop share. Permítanme, porque no saqué de la pantalla de esta. Ok. Ok. <clears throat> ok. Pues sí, tengo que hacer. This is a different story. It's another story, completely different, all right? So here it goes. Hello, my name is Lorelai Gilmore. I went to Colombia to attend a training last December. I knew the headquarters for the first time, and it was a very interesting experience, because I learned how to be more efficient doing remote work. I am responsible for hunting for new clients, and I'm accountable to the sales department. But I learned to collaborate with the marketing department and also to coordinate with the purchases department. 
After the training, the personnel from tech support created and developed an app. The sales team planned the actions in the app and marketing designed the layout. We used this new platform and the last two months the company increased the incomes in 65%. Our company is known for delivering the products on time and for taking care to ensure error free. All right. I will play it again. Listen carefully. Hello, my name is Lorelai Gilmore. I went to Colombia to attend a training last December. I knew the headquarters for the first time, and it was a very interesting experience, because I learned how to be more efficient doing remote work. I am responsible for hunting for new clients, and I am accountable to the sales department. But I learned to collaborate with the marketing department and also to coordinate with the purchases department. After the training, the personnel from tech support created and developed an app. The sales team planned the actions in the app and marketing designed the layout. We used this new platform and the last two months the company increased the incomes in 65%. Our company is known for delivering the products on time and for taking care to ensure error free. Okay. Hmm. Allow me to share with you some questions about the audio, okay? <coughs> okay. Let's start by the first question. What's her name? Number two. Laura. Ah, okay, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. Laura, no I problem. Okay. <laughs> Did you see the series? Uh, no. No? Okay. Well, did she attend a family reunion in Colombia? Yes. A family reunion? No, she didn't. No. No, she didn't. She didn't. Okay. What was the meeting that she went to? Uh huh. Bien esta, vaya. Contestemos bien esta, sí. Esta contestemos la correctamente. No, she didn't. Acuérdense que dábamos después una pequeña explicación, ¿sí? No, she didn't. Here we go, right? She attended. What did she attend? What did she attend? Training for work. Okay, a uh, training. Okay. A uh, training. All right. She attended a training. All right. What? was the training about what was the training about training about uh, how how to be more efficient efficient uh-huh efficiency mm -hmm. okay ¿Cómo ser más eficiente? okay veamos la número cuatro antes de contestar esa did she enjoy the training Yes. Yeah. She yes, she yes, was. She, yes, she did. Yes, she did. Uh -huh. Yes, she did. Y la aclaración, a ver si recuerdan because más o menos. interesting experience. Okay. What's she responsible for? What's she responsible for? She's responsible for hunting clients, new clients. Okay. And who is she accountable to? I'm sorry, what is it? No, no, no. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, the uh, the sales department. Okay, what did I she learn? I'm to sales department. Oh, okay. 
What did she learn in the training? Uh, she learned how to be more efficient. How to be more efficient? Well, efficient. okay. Todavía vamos a esperar para escribir las respuestas. Uh -huh. Now, how much did the company increase the incomes? Sixty-five percent. Sixty-five percent. Right. So mm -hmm. you are very good listeners, guys. You have a very good skill as as listeners. So yes. Now, uh, antes de contestar esas, before answering these questions, let's listen to the audio and read along. Okay, read along. So allow me to show you this. I will erase this one. Okay. So this is the story, okay? This is the story. So listen and read. Hello, my name is Lorelai Gilmore. I went to Colombia to attend a training last December. I knew the headquarters for the first time, and it was a very interesting experience because I learned how to be more efficient doing remote work. I am responsible for hunting for new clients, and I am accountable to the sales department. But I learned to collaborate with the marketing department and also to coordinate with the purchases department. After the training, the personnel from tech support created and developed an app. The sales team planned the actions in the app and marketing designed the layout. We used this new platform and the last two months the company increased the incomes in 65%. Our company is known for delivering the products on time and for taking care to ensure error free. All right, people. Who wants to read it? Who wants to read it? A ver, ¿quién quiere leer? Vamos a ver. Okay, please, Mauricio, go ahead. I want to. Okay. Uh, I went to Colombia to attend a training last December. I knew the headquarters. For the first time, it was a very interesting experience because I learned how to be more efficient doing remote work. I am responsible for hunting for new clients and I am accountable to the sales department, but I learned to collaborate with the marketing department and also to coordinate with the purchase department after the training, the personnel from the teacher support, create and develop an APP. An app. Decided, app, okay. Decided team planning to the action in the app. And marketing the same, the layout, layout with use the new platform. And the last two months, the company increased the income in the 65%. Our company is now is known for delivering the product on time and for taking care the insurance. Error free. Error, error free. Error, error free. All right. So I will stop sharing at this moment. I will send the slide. Okay. I will send the slide through the WhatsApp group. And you are going to find the verbs in the past tense form. All right. You are going to make a list of the verbs in the, in the, Simple past, all right? You are going to make a list of the verbs in the simple past. 
that you find out over there. Okay, meanwhile, I will call the roll. So please, everybody, turn your camera on. And when I call your name, you have to say present. All right. Let's get ready, everybody. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. Present teacher. Cecilia Yasmin Menjibar Soto. Cecilia Yasmin Menjibar Soto. Dijo presente, ¿verdad? Claudia María Guerrero Mejía. Present teacher. Ok. Darío Antonio Alvarenga Gómez. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos Álvarez. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present, Miss. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. Irma Stephanie Carranza Rivas. Present. José Alexander Hernández Carvajal. Present teacher. José Bernardo López Montes. Present teacher. José Gerardo Rivera Ochoa. Karen Janet Granado Sorellano. Present teacher. Karen Janet Granado Sorellana. Present. Javier Castillo. Here, Mariana Scarlett Rodríguez Luna. Marina Yancy Sandoval Bonilla. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Nelly Lilibet Andrade García. Present. Norma Patricia Viuda de Arre Vázquez. Oscar Noé Magaña Martínez. Present teacher. Um, Pablo Adalberto Abrego Vázquez. Present teacher. Leticia Peraza Sandoval. Present teacher. Ok. Tatiana Ivón Torres de Beltrán. Present Miss. Ok. Wendy Maricela Ramírez Guevara. Me quedo traba. Present teacher. Ok. All right. Well, people, now, please tell me the verbs you found in a text, in a story. What <laughs> verbs did you find? That went. Uh-huh. Attend. Uh-huh, okay. Well, that in the first place was in infinitive, right? It's not in past tense. Estamos buscando nada más los que estén en tiempo pasado, ¿ok? Simple past uh, form. Went. ¿Cuál sigue Learn. después de ese? Uh -huh. Learn. A ver, ajá, learned. Lo vamos a poner para que lo vayan bien. <risa> Stop sharing. No sé qué pasa con esta cosa. Oh, my, my God. I was going to say something that I'm used to do. Yeah, I'm, I'm used to say, oh, me good. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Oh, sorry. A ver. Fíjense que de veras uno tiene que tener cuidado. Porque siempre uno bromea, ¿verdad? Y se le va quedando la, la forma incorrecta, ¿verdad? Y después a la hora que tiene que hacer las cosas correctas, le salen las incorrectas. Okay, well, here we are. So, what are the verbs we have in the, in the simple past form? A ver, here we have one. Look. Mm -hmm. Went. Went. Mm -hmm. New. Went. New. Attend. Mm -hmm. Attend está en infinitivo, miren. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Was. Learned. Was. Learned. Mm -hmm. Training. A ver, a ver, a ver, a ver, a ver. ¿Dónde está? Otra vez, learn. Uh 
create. Create it. Mm -hmm. Planet. Develop. Developed. Deve Developed. Planned. Uh -huh. Planet. This is planned. Mm -hmm. Designed. Designed. Yes, designed. Used. 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 Mm -hmm. Increased. 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 Uh -huh. ¿Y este qué será? ¿Es el past? Uh, ¿Qué será este? Uh -huh. Past. ¿Qué? ¿Qué past es este? Participle. Yes, past. Participle. Yes. Uh -huh. And taking care to ensure our free. How many verbs do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 verbs in a right? Ahora ve que no solamente usamos el pasado para contar una historia, ¿verdad? Entonces tenemos que aprender a redactar una oración así en general, ¿de acuerdo? Subject, verb, complement. Independientemente el tiempo del verbo que sea, va a ser el mismo orden, ¿verdad? Gramatical o la sintaxis, ¿verdad? De la oración va a ser exactamente la misma. Entonces, veamos que podemos también tener en negativo, ¿verdad? No solo en afirmativo. Entonces, cuando contamos las cosas, las contamos de esta manera, ¿ya? Cuando evaluamos, entonces lo hacemos cuando nos preguntan algo, nosotros damos una opinión, ¿verdad? Bien. Eso es lo que hemos estado haciendo en estos días, ¿verdad? De esta última unidad. Evaluating oh, no. using the past simple tense and the past of be, ¿ok? Veamos cómo sería con el simple past. Subject, verb, complement, right? I, subject, went, is the verb, oh. and then the complement. Oh. I went to Colombia, right? I knew the headquarters, ¿ok? Si vemos, siempre hay un sujeto, miren. Siempre hay un sujeto antes del verbo, miren. Miren. Siempre va a haber un sujeto antes del verbo. Así que, mire aquí, the sales team es el sujeto. Tech support created. Siempre tiene que haber alguien que haga la acción, ¿ok? Siempre tiene que haber alguien que haga la acción. Entonces, tengamos ese cuidado cuando contemos algo, ¿verdad? No queramos decir lo que, lo que se nos vino a la mente, sino que ordenemos la idea. Uh -huh. Object, verb, and complement, ¿ok? Bien. Y como queremos contar una historia, tiene que ser en un orden cronológico, ¿verdad? No voy a contar primero que incrementamos las ventas en 65%. Voy a contar primero que... Yo fui a un training que me hizo a mí ser más productiva, más eficiente, a colaborar con las otras áreas. Y juntos, después de ese training, creamos una app y todos nos encargamos de una cosa. Y después, en equipo, este fue el resultado. ¿Ok? Vemos que hay una serie de eventos, ¿verdad? Entonces, ya sabemos la historia, ¿verdad? Ya sabemos la historia. Ahora contemos la historia. Contemos la historia. Vamos a contar la historia. Yo les voy a mostrar unos, unas slides y ustedes van a contar lo que pasa con ese slide, ¿ok? Según la historia. <coughs> Ordenando ideas, ¿verdad? Subject, verb, complement. Estamos contando la historia de Lorelai Gilmore. No somos Lorelai Gilmore. Estamos retelling the story. Subject. Who went? I or she. Uh -huh. She went to Colombia. Okay. Okay. She went to Colombia. Good. 
<laughs> she traveled to Colombia. She went to Colombia. Very good. Next slide. Mm -hmm. Acordémonos, she went to Colombia, ya tenemos la primera oración. ¿Qué sigue después de eso? A train, a train. Ajá. Last December. All right. Mm -hmm. She attend a train. What was the training about? Mm -hmm. To a training last December. Uh, the training about that is uh, mm -hmm. she learning how to be more efficient. In the training, le ponemos. Well, oh, de qué era, pues? De qué era el, el training? The training. El, el training is was, was, uh -huh, was about about how, how, mo, how to be more efficient. Efficient. Mm -hmm. efficient. Yes, to be more efficient doing what? Doing what? Remote work. Yes, remote work. Mm -hmm. She's doing remote work over there, meaning she's doing remote yeah. work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Doing remote work. Bye. Ya tenemos esta, ¿verdad? Ok, vamos a la siguiente slide. Subject. Subject. Ajá. She. 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 She is responsible for what? hunting the okay. mm -hmm. for hunting for new client. Okay. Uh -huh. But she She uh, a accountable visual department. Okay. Mm -hmm. But she learned. What did she learn in the training? What did she learn in the training? She learned how to with the market. And other areas, right? And yeah. other areas. Okay. Now, what goes next? Look with this. Mm -hmm. Okay. And other departments, yeah. right? Okay. Vamos a ver la siguiente. What happened after the training? Mm -hmm. After the training, mm -hmm. the personal for tech support. Uh huh. Created and developed. Mm -hmm. Uh, planned and apps. I see. And, and developed. Uh -huh. and okay. What happened next? Who designed the layout and who designed the other thing, the other features? Uh, 
Okay, let's uh, leave it there. And now let's continue with this, uh -huh, with this other. What happened with that up? Mm -hmm. We use the new platform and the last two months. Mm -hmm. The company increased in commerce in mm -hmm. Okay. ¿Y ¿Cómo dice ahí en, el, en, el, en la historia que ella cuenta, Mauricio? Uh, uh, dice we, ¿verdad? Es primeras yeah. personas. Pero okay, nosotros okay. estamos contando la historia de ella. Entonces sería Ajá. they, ¿verdad? Sí. They. En, en vez they. de we, okay. como lo estamos okay. contando, sería yeah, yeah, they. Yeah. Uh -huh. They. Uh -huh. They use. Ajá. Use they use the platform. app. They use a new platform. Ajá. In way to income is... And, and increased the incomes in and a 65%. Okay, very good. Veamos la siguiente entonces. Aunque aquí nos faltó decir, ¿verdad? Que fue diseñada, todas las features, quién mm -hmm. las hizo, etc. Vamos a ver acá. So, hagamos el final de la historia. A ver. They. Uh -huh. Company. In order for delivering for the product on time. Hmm. On time, aha. Uh -huh. For taking care for to ensure error free. A ver, leamos la historia, a ver cómo suena. Vamos a ver. Can you read it, Nelly, please? A ver si le suena bien o si hay algo que arreglar, que agregar, que quitar. She went to Colombia to attend a training last December. The training was about how to be more efficient during remote work. She's responsible for hunting for new clients, but she learned to collaborate with the marketing department and other departments. After the training, they support Planet and develop an app. They used the new platform and increased the incomes in a, a 65%. The company is known for delivering the products on time and for taking care and ensure error free. Error free. Very good. Is it okay? Or do we need to add something? Do we need to cut something from there? No, right. It's understandable. It's understandable. Bye. Esto es como que estemos contando así. Fíjate que la Lore Guillermo se fue a Colombia a un entrenamiento bárbaro. Y sabes, fíjate que ella trabaja para otra área, pero mira, les enseñaron a colaborar con todas las áreas y vieras que ahora trabaja para marketing, trabaja con tech support, ella trabaja, esto es lo que estamos contando, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Así que cuando lo contemos, contémoslo así, ¿verdad? Contémoslo con emoción, ¿verdad? Y sí, le bueno. pagaron todo. Yes. yes, of course, ajá, ajá. Entonces, eso es lo que estamos haciendo, contando la historia, ¿verdad? Y al final, vieran que esa compañía se fue para arriba porque, miren, 65% incrementó las ventas, ¿ok? That's what we are doing when we retell a story, ¿ok? Ahorita lo aprendimos así, ¿verdad? Del libro, pero cuando contamos algo, le ponemos nuestro toque de contar algo, ¿verdad? To retell a story. Ok, Dan. 
Is it okay? Is there any questions so far? Is there any questions so far? Teacher. Tell me. Uh, and how, how, how I know when, where put the emotion. Very good when, question. When, when, mm -hmm. when I read it. Uh -huh. how, when you read it. Uh -huh. Okay, usually we don't have emotions written, more than exclamation uh, marks or interrogation mark, right? A question mark or the commas, the pauses, right? So it's not that it's going to be shown there. And normally we don't know exactly, okay? This is when you are reading. This is when you are reading the problem that you face. But if you are talking to someone, you will feel the emotion, okay? O sea, escrito, tal vez usted no lo va a sentir así, por eso no lo habían sentido hasta que yo se los dije, ¿verdad? Pero, si, bueno, cuando usted lee un libro y dice, este libro está bien emocionante, ¿por qué será? Por los eventos que cuenta, ¿verdad? Por los eventos que cuenta, algo que me impacta. Pero en este caso, solo estamos contando lo que nos contaron, ¿ya? Solo estamos contando lo que nos contaron. Por eso le ponemos la emoción de contar, ¿verdad? Eh, a lo que usted se refiere, tal vez será en un texto rígido, ¿verdad? En un libro, en algo así. Pero solo lo va a entender si realmente le impacta. O sea, no, no sí, le sí. puedo decir Y yo, que fluya. Exacto, así, ajá, cabal. Y que fluya en la lectura, usted va entendiendo, comprendiendo la historia y dice, hey, qué chévere, hey, me encantaría que eso me pasara a mí, ¿verdad? O sea, son cosas que le van llenando a usted de forma diferente, ¿verdad? Ahora, cuando usted cuenta la historia de un libro que a usted sí le ha impactado, ¿cómo lo cuenta? O vio una película, va, vio una película. ¿Cómo cuenta ah, la sí. película? Sí, sí, en la, en la Y fija, que mira, que, que, no, qué bárbaro, qué imaginación de ese productor, qué bárbaro. O sea, le mete la emoción porque usted está contando algo. ¿Ya? ¿Qué le impactó? Ahora, si esa película hubiera estado aburrida, aburrida, ¿cómo lo hubiera contado? Ay, no, así de... Uy, qué película más aburrida. No, hombre, por no gusto. te la recomiendo. Eh. Por gusto, I don't recommend it. Eso es lo que estamos haciendo ahorita, ¿verdad? Okay, okay. El punto que queremos llegar es evaluar algo de acuerdo a los eventos para poder recomendar o pedir a la gerencia, ¿verdad? Que nos den un entrenamiento. ¿Les parece bien un entrenamiento como este para después llegar a crear una app a su compañía? What do you think? ¿Les encantaría que los enviaran a otro país para aprender a trabajar con otras áreas y crear yeah, una app yeah. y toda la cuestión? Yeah, ok, Dan. Sure. Would you recommend this training? Would you request this kind of trainings? Ok, so this is what we were doing. Ok, this is what we were doing. Bye. Vamos a continuar con un, ya se nos fue a 9 y 11 ahorita, pero de igual manera, de igual manera. Vamos a hacer así, a ver, tres voluntarios que quieran ahorita probarse en velocidad de lectura. Vamos a ver. Me teacher. All right, there you go. Yo voy a poner play al audio y usted lo va a leer, ¿ok? Este se los voy a pasar así. Ya, ya le dieron a screenshot por si la quieren, porque esta la armamos con ustedes. Es muy de autoría de ustedes, ¿verdad? Ok. A ver, copienla ahí para saber cuándo contamos algo. Vale. Tenemos ahí a Luis, ¿verdad? ¿De ahí quién más quería? Tres. Tres que van a leer así en velocidad. Este, solo dos más. No, no, ya, ya. Ay, híjole, man. si todos quieren, yo sé, yo sé que todos quieren, pero me disculpo con el alma, les digo, perdón, pero solo tres. <ríe> ok, vamos a leer. Ok, vamos a ver. Vamos a hacer a Luis primero y después van los demás, ¿ok? Va. Tiene que hacer el match con la velocidad de la que está contando la historia, ¿ok? 
Vamos a ver. Ok. Yo pongo play y de. Hello, my name is Lorelai Gilmore. I went to Colombia to attend. I went to Colombia to attend a training last December. I knew the headquarters, for the, headquarters first for the first time. It was a very, interesting, was a very interesting, interesting experience. Because I learned how to. Because I learned how to be remote. I'm responsible for hunting for new clients. I'm responsible for hunting for new clients. I'm accountable to the sales department. But I learned to collaborate with the marketing department and also to coordinate with the purchase department. After the training, they first nailed support create. And developed an app. The, develop, the sales team planned the, the sales action. Team the app the action in the design the layout. And marketing design the live platform. We use the new platform in the last two the months. The company increased income. Our company is known for companies now for delivering the products on time. To ensure error. Guessing I think. But you did it so great. Good job, Liz. Good job. Fíjese que casi no se trabó en las palabras. No, le, se quedaba, pero nada más por las puntuaciones. Lo hizo muy bien, lo hizo muy bien. Ok, ¿quién era el que, sigue, el que seguía? Así, en rapidez. Vamos a ver. Y esa velocidad es la normal. Sí, sí. Es pero velocidad rápido. normal. No, es una velocidad normal. Ajá. Por eso es que hago este tipo de ejercicios para que ustedes sientan la diferencia, porque siempre hablamos como leyendo, ¿verdad? Yo puedo hablar así, I went to Colombia to attend a training last December. Y está bien, está muy bien, pero es bueno ir a normal speed, avanzando, ¿verdad? Ok, vamos a ver. ¿Quién quiere? ¿Quién quiere? ¿No? A ver, a ver, a ver. Vale, entonces vamos a decir, Pablo, ¿quiere probarse Pablo? Sí, sí, Pablo, Pablo, Pablo. No está Pablo. Vamos a ver, Pablo, abra su micrófono, Pablo. No, Pablo. Ok, vamos a ver. Oh. Oh, ok, there you are. Yes, 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 Pablo. Ok, le pongo play y de, oiga bien que primero dice el nombre, después empiece. I went to Colombia, all right? Hello, my name is Lorelai Gilmore. I went to Colombia to attend a training last December. I knew the headquarters for the first time, and it was a very interesting experience because I learned how to be more efficient doing remote work. I am responsible for hunting for new clients, and I'm accountable to the sales department. But I learned to collaborate with the marketing department and also to coordinate with the purchases department. Hello, Pablo. No lo escuchamos, Pablo. Yo creo que tiene problemas con su audio, ¿verdad? Ay, que lo siento, Pablo. No lo oímos. Ok, vamos a ver, Wendy, démosle Wendy, porque Pablo ha, ha de tener problemas de audio porque no nos contesta de regreso ahorita y tiene abierto el micrófono, fíjense. Ok. Vale, vamos a ver. A ver si puedo, Tis. Vale, fíjense bien que dice, my name is Laura Caramel. Ahí en, I went to Colombia, all right? There you go. Hello, my name is Lorelai Gilmore. I went to Colombia to attend Columbia a training to last train December. December. I knew, I knew the weather was fine. It was a very I was very interesting experience, experience because, because I, I learned how to be more doing efficient doing remote work. I am responsible I are for hunting for new clients. I am accountable to the sales department. To the sales department. department. But I learned to collaborate with the marketing department. The marketing department. Also, to coordinate with the purchase department. After the training, any reporting personnel from tech support created created and created created the app. App. Uh, sales stars in the app and marketing and the layout we used this new platform and the last two okay. months the company increased the incomes in 65 percent our company I know for, for delivering the products on time, time and for taking care, for taking to care to error, ensure free. error free <sighs> <laughs> Yeah, I know, I know, ajá. Uh -huh. 
Sí, a veces no sale a la primera, pero ahí les voy a compartir el audio y ustedes sigan practicando, ¿ok? Sigan practicando velocidad. A ver, ¿quiere probarse, Nelly? Ok. Hello, my name is Lorelai Gilmore. I went to Colombia to attend a training last December. I knew the headquarters for the first time, and it was a very interesting experience because I learned how to be more efficient in the work. I'm responsible for hunting for new clients, and I'm accountable to the sales department. I learned to collaborate with the marketing department and also to coordinate with the purchases department. After the training, the personnel from tech support created and developed an app. The sales the team planned the action, the action in the marketing design the marketing layout. Design the layout. We, used we used the new platform, platform and in the last, last two months, months the company increased the income in 65%. Our company, Our company is known for delivering the product on time, on time and for taking and care to ensure error-free. Error -free. Very good. Very good job. All right. Well, we are going to stop sharing and we are going to continue with the topic today, right? Today's topic is continuing with the simple past, okay? We are continuing with the simple past. And of course, we are going to say that it's a verb B, yes, no questions in the past, and we will continue um evaluating and thinking about the trainings and what do we need in our companies and what we don't need in our companies as a workshop or a training okay so the objective tonight okay the objective tonight is that you will be able to write an email recommending either or requesting a workshop or training using Simple Past, okay? Vamos a recomendar o a pedir, ¿verdad? A solicitar una capacitación o un entrenamiento, right? Vamos a ver entonces our agenda. ¿Cómo vamos con la agenda? We did our feedback. Uh, we did our listening activity, then uh, we read this experience, we did the speed and performance and rating ability, so now we go to a conversation time, all right? Let's go to page 40, 45, if I'm not wrong, it is 45, okay, in our manual, page 45 in our manuals, there we have a conversation and it's really important for us to see how to talk about the needs or the necessity of a training depending on the situations presented in our workplace, okay? Maybe our company is in one field that requires specific technical uh, preparation or technical um, knowledge, right, about processes, whatever, right? So we are going to see how this work, okay, how this work. So let's read it. Cuando uno va a un training, when you go to a training, after the training, you tell the story, right? You tell how it was, you tell who was the speaker, you tell um, what was the training about, the title, the description, the materials, the resources, the place. You describe everything and you evaluate everything. So you have different elements in a training. So let's look at this conversation. Allow me to open this and this one. Okay. So let's listen the conversation. Hi, Julie. This is Jack. How are things going at work? Hello, Jack. Everything is fine. Thanks. How about you? 
Just perfect. Look, I want to know if you attended the training last year. We are sending the invitations for the new one. Yes, I did. The training I attended was about first aid and prevention. Sounds good. Where did it take place? It was held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? I mean the training. Did you find it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most of us were pleased with the speakers and practices. I personally learned a lot. Okay. Veamos qué elementos del training se evaluaron acá. A ver. O entraron en la conversación, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. ¿Qué elementos del training ustedes miran por ahí? In the conversation. The place where the place. they did. Okay, the place. What else? Is, is, is the training was helpful? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, the place, right? The place. What was the place? The Crown Plaza Hotel. Okay. What else? If she learned it. Okay. Mm -hmm. If she recommended mm -hmm. the training. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The topic, the training. Yes, the topic. So the title and the description, right? It was about, she says, first and aid prevention, right? I'm sorry, first aid and prevention. A ver. Vamos a ver, también evaluaron otra cosa. Dos cosas muy importantes que son como el centro o la columna vertebral del training, ¿verdad? Ahí se... Ser... Yes. Mm -hmm. Speakers and, and practices. Right. Pero también hay otro elemento por ahí inmerso. A ver. Ajá. Uh -huh. A ver, a ver, a ver, uno último. Hay más, pero uno importante, vamos a ver. Uh -huh. The people eligible, right? The people eligible to the training. So the attendees, right? Attendees. And also the attendants. Attendants and attendees. Hmm. And different, right? But the the other um, aspect will be time, right? Time, when, right? When. Also, we could say in time, we could say the schedule, even though here they are not talking about the schedule, but they are telling about the last one, right? And now it's going to happen the next one. All right. So let's... Role play the conversation. Is there any question about the vocabulary here? First aid. First aid, primeros auxilios. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean. I mean is digo, así, digo. El asunto que se da acá es bien interesante porque dice, se juntaron dos cosas en la conversación, dice. The training I attended was about first aid and prevention, ¿verdad? Sounds good. Where did it take place? Ah, y empezaron a hablar del lugar, ¿verdad? It was held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Viene y pregunta, do you recommend it? ¿Cuál de los dos? ¿El hotel o el training? ¿Ok? Entonces viene él y de una vez hace la aclaración. Por eso dice, I mean. Para eso se usa, para hacer la aclaración. 
Entonces, okay. do you recommend it? I mean the training, okay? Not the hotel, the training, I mean, okay? Como tipo me refiero a. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Exactly. Uh -huh. Okay, is there any other question? Okay, let's role play the conversation. So please, Mauricio and Luis. Hi, Julian. This is Jack. How are, how are things going at work? Hello, Jack. Everything is fine. Thanks. How, how about you? Just perfect. Look. I want to know, know if you attended training last year. We are sending the invitation for the new one. Yes, I did. The training I attend was about first aid and prevention. Sound good. Where did it take place? It was held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? It's, do you recommend it? I mean, the training, did you find it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most of us were placed with the speakers and practices. I personally learned, learned a lot. Very good. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. So now we are going to the breakout room and we are going to practice the conversation. Then we have a pair work right there. We want to answer those questions. Uh, allow me to share it back. No, it's okay. It's understandable. Uh, solo las voy a leer. Dice, what type of training did Julie attend? Did she find the training of great help? And your opinion, how often should trainings take place? Okay, in your opinion, how often should trainings take place? Uh, uh, according to every company, right? Because there are companies that they don't need any training so often, right? Maybe they need one once a year, but you were going to tell that, all right? In your opinion, according to your uh, workplace, all right? So allow me to send you or to assign you to the breakout rooms. Bye. Necesito que todos ahorita se pongan disponibles, por favor, para que podamos realizar la actividad y se cumpla el objetivo. Vamos a ir a practicar la conversación y vamos a contestar el pair work.
The trading attempt was about the first side and the provision. Sounds good. Where did that take place? It was held at the Globe Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? I mean, the training. Did you find it help, helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most of us were the place with the speaker and practice. I personally learned about a lot. Okay. One more. Again, one short question. Cuatro dicen. Cuatro. Karen, Karen Yes. No practicar, Karen. Karen. Sí, sí. Sí. ¿Querés? ¿Estás? ¿Puedes bajarlo un poquito? Uh -huh. <ríe> Ay, sí. Oh, sí, ahí va. Ahí está. Ahí, ahí, ahí está. Bueno, son un poquito más grande. Ah, está, vale. Dice... Dice Sayak, how, how, how are things going at work? Hello, Jack. Hello, Jack. Everything is fine. Thanks. How about you? Just perfect. Look, I want to know if you attend a training last year. We are sending the invitation for the new one. Yes, I did. The training I attended was about first aim and probation. Sounds good. What did it take place? It was held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? I mean, the training. Did you find it helpful? This absolute. Uh, most of you were placed with the speakers and practice. I personally learn a lot. Okay. Switch roles. Very good. And that part, Karen, hello everyone, here I am. Uh, where it says, absolutely, I see, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Así sin miedo, dígalo, como está ahí, lo único que va a quitar es la E, ¿verdad? Absolutely. Absolutely. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Teacher, y, y toda uh -huh. la oración, perdón, de most of us were placed. Ajá. Uh -huh. trabajo eso, ¿cómo se dice? Yes, most of us, most of us were pleased. Most of us were pleased. Uh -huh. Most of us. Uh -huh. Most of us were pleased. Some of us were pleased. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, answer the question. Okay. What time of training did Yuli attend? Did okay, Yuli attend? you yes perfect look i want to know if you attended a training last year we are sending the invitation for the new one yes i did the training i attended was about first aid and prevention oh, good. where did it 
take place. It was held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? Do you recommend it? I mean, the training? Did you find it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most of us were pleased with the speakers and the practices. I personally learned a lot. Okay. What type of training did you you did you like the them? Dame la respuesta. The training was about first aid and prevention. Okay. La otra es, did she yes, find she the part. training of the great help? Yes, she did. Yes, she she did. found it of great help. She found it. Found. found it. In your opinion, how often should training take a place? Mm, I think yeah, every... Una, una opinión personal, ¿verdad? For me, every six months, although it depends on the kind of training. Uh -huh. Yeah. It depends. But what training would you recommend? Hello, here I am. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And. And. Sure. Uh huh. Uh, safety. Occupational safety. All right. Occupational. 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 Safety. Occupational safety. Yes, it's occupational. Acuérdense que cuando decimos ocupación, decimos occupation, right? Entonces agreguémosle all like, occupational. Occupational. Yes. Mm -hmm. The other topic. And how, is how often? A how often how often do you need this kind of training? Once a month. One. In my case, once a month because we are a factory. Okay, and are you are you hiring new people constantly? Mm. Mm. No, no, but uh, we have to keep fresh that. Oh that uh, mentality. guidelines yeah or, or the guidelines about safety right mm -hmm. yes okay good good what about you mauricio continue continue i'm sorry i was in just my, curious in my case, in, my case in, in the personal opinion is uh, the training uh, could be a serial. Could be one, one very sick mom. The speaker teacher. Microphone. Yo ya diciendo okay. todo, todo el libro le dije ya y con el <laughs> micrófono. <laughs> okay. Aha, Mauricio, that's good. Uh, if you think about eh, uh, training every six months, what is that training about? Refresh, the feel refresh the training in work method. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Methods like um, the way to do something. Say it again. The way to do something. Yeah. Oh, okay, you have different processes, right? Okay, to refresh them. Very refresh. good. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, and also these kind of trainings help to evaluate people, right? These yeah. kind of trainings help to uh, uh, evaluate the performance uh, employee, right? Yes. Uh, I, I use... Uh, Take a list, but measure API. Okay. API. All right. And what does API stands for? 
A P I. A is for P is for I is for. Ah. Okay, la pregunta es así, mira, Mauricio. What does A P I stand for? Okay. Eh, ¿Qué significan esas tres letras o esas siglas? I don't know, remember. Ah, uh, okay. And I no no remember the, uh -huh. the uh, esa letra no no. The no concepts, ajá. Uh -huh. Pero pero lo leí también en una lectura que usted dejó ah. como hacer cómo se llama como crear una una lista de evaluación. All right, performance. That's a performance. Yeah, yeah right. that's a performance evaluation. Yeah, and it's yeah. a form. It's a form to evaluate people. It's a checklist, right? It's a checklist. Sí, sí. Pero As... quiero agregar que, que la persona que, ha, que da el entrenamiento hace esa evaluación de los KPI. Oh. Okay, all right. Very good, very good. Um, okay. What about you, Jose Bernardo? What do you think about Mauricio's idea? I think it's, it's okay uh -huh. because the he, his workplace uh, needs it. Uh -huh. It's it's With... a factory too, right? Uh, you work in a factory and he works in a factory, right? Maybe the um, rubro. Yes, industrial, right? Yeah, uh -huh. because we forge and uh -huh. we have an environment with many dangerous things. Dangerous, all right, dangerous. Mm -hmm. Many issues that can happen, right? Okay, people, let's go back to the main. Uh, did you finish the questions? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's go, back. let's go back to the main session. Okay. All right, here we are. Look, now what we want to do, now what we want to do is to <clears throat> recommend like she did, all right? Like Julie did. So let's go to page 46 and we are going to imagine that you attended two of these trainings and we want to express why you would recommend them, all right? Here we have a list of trainings or seminars or workshops right and we want to say 
imagine, use your imagination, right? Maybe you attended two of them. So let's think about the anger management, anger management uh, training or conference, right? These are self-motivation trainings. So we have anger management, customer service, telephone etiquette, first aid training. Tenemos diferentes tipos de trainings acá. Imaginémonos que fuimos a dos de estos, ¿verdad? Por acá tenemos un ejemplo de cómo recomendar. Miren, esta es una buena frase. I highly recommend. Esta es una frase que siempre usted puede Usar para decir, lo recomiendo enteramente. Sí, de verdad les recomiendo esto. Yo recomiendo en gran medida, ¿verdad? Highly recommend. Bien. Entonces, por ejemplo, esta respuesta. I highly recommend this training. Why? Because it helped me to control my emotions. ¿Ok? Vamos a ver. Si usted hubiera ido a este anger management... ¿Lo recomendaría? Vamos a ver. What do you think? Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver ahí. Would you recommend it? Yes, yeah. I would. No, I wouldn't. Yes, I would. Ok. ¿Cómo diría usted eso? Vamos a ver. Uh -huh. A I, ver. I recommend it. Okay, I highly recommend it, right? I yeah. highly recommend, recommend it. it. Mm -hmm. yes. I highly recommend it. Ahora digamos la razón por la que lo recomendamos. The reason why. Why is it important to have a training about anger management? Mm -hmm. ¿Por qué sería importante tener un training acerca del, del control de la ira, del manejo de la ira. For, for attend a complicated client. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. I highly recommend it to, mm -hmm. we could say, oh yeah, to uh, manage, oh, handle. Did you, did you say handle? Handle. Complicated a client. Okay. To handle complicated clients. Very good answer. Okay. I highly recommend it to handle complicated clients. A ver, digamos que fuimos a otro. A cual quieren, a ver, dar una respuesta. Por ejemplo, si fueron el de first aid training. ¿Estaría bien? ¿Cómo lo recomendaríamos acá? De primeros auxilios. I highly recommend it mm -hmm. because an emergency can happen everywhere, not only on the job. Emergency can, uh, can an happens. emergency can happen. No, can happen uh, anywhere. Not only in the workplace, right? Very good. It's kind of a general thing, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver. ¿Y si hubieran ido al de customer service? If you would go to the customer service training, ¿lo recomendarían? Yes, of course. All right. I highly, I, I, I highly recommend it. Recommend it because? Because uh, the customer is very mm -hmm. important. Very good. Mm -hmm. but, but but company. Okay. Okay. 
care. Este fuera el de customer service, ¿verdad? Si hubiéramos ido al customer service, está muy buena esta respuesta. Miren, I highly recommend it because the customer is very important for the company. Ok, ahora les voy a mostrar un ejemplo, ahorita sí rapidito, de cómo podríamos armar un texto. Este es un texto tomado de la internet, ok. Es como algo genérico, ¿verdad? Pero nos sirve para poder basarnos en qué lenguaje utilizar para poder pedir un training a la compañía, ¿verdad? Ya sea al de eh, recursos humanos, usted le envía ese, o a su jefe, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver, ahorita se los pongo acá. Y ahí en la plataforma les habilité ahorita para que ustedes suban un texto similar pidiendo algún training que a ustedes les gustaría que dieran, ¿verdad? Entonces ahorita se los pongo acá para que tomen un ejemplo y después se den gusto escribiéndolo. Pero participen en la discusión, en el foro, porque eso les ayuda. Miren, es una práctica que les va a ayudar a desarrollar otra habilidad. En este caso, la habilidad es writing. Miren, writing an email, requesting a training. Leamos, lo dice. Uh, primero, aquí en eh, la dirección, ¿verdad? E-learning.hrworkshops at hotsinger.com. Esa es la, el email que estamos usando. El subject, training requests. Acordémonos de que escribimos un formal email, ¿verdad? Mr. Ross Gallen, HR Talent Management Director. I am writing to request your consideration for advanced training that will help us save more money and time. Having worked in technical support for over three years, it's essential to constantly update and improve my skill set and steer the company to greater heights. I believe that learning web app development will reduce our costs when developing native apps on Android or iOS, right? It will also make workflow go much smoother. I have come across several trainers offering this course and a few I find reasonable, include creating web applications with Go by Plural site, uh, $239 annual access, Java Bootcamp, 10 web application development projects, $13.99. Creating web applications with Go by Plural site in my top pick for the unmatched flexibility it provides. That was ample time to master everything and pass the knowledge to my team with one year's access. Thank you for considering my request to attend a tra to attend training. I feel confident that we can share the knowledge with fellow staff members and managers alike if given the opportunity. Sincerely, Florence Doe. Okay? Florence Doe es como decir Florence fulana de tal, right? Florence desconocida. Yeah. <laughs> this is como Jane Doe. Bien. Veamos entonces así rapidito, ¿hay alguna cuestión que quede todavía en el tintero? Vemos que primero pues tenemos que pensar lo que necesitamos, qué elementos, ¿verdad? En dónde se va a dar, the place, the price, the people, the legible people, the speakers, right? And the costs, right? The price, the costs, the resources. The materials we are going to use or we are going to need if it is if they can sponsor that for us. Okay. Así que ustedes van a escribir un email ahí en la plataforma. Ahí les abrí la discusión. En eh, se los acabo de poner para que de una vez lo vayan haciendo. Y hagan un Solo el texto, ¿verdad? Solo el texto. Acuérdense a quién va enviado, la razón, el tipo de training que están pidiendo, cómo es que lo están recomendando, ¿ok? Y obviamente, the request, right? The request. Okay, it's 9.59, one minute to 10. Allow me to show you this. Y así. Estamos finalizando, miren, acá está, a ver, en la conferencia 19, miren, 
Video conference number 19. Y aquí ustedes van a ir contestando. Fácil. Solo dice, um, write an email to the talent management director and request an email or recommend one. Okay? Recommend one. Entendido, jóvenes? Easy, right? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. teacher. Okay. Okay, then, guys, allow me to call the roll. So, please, everybody, turn your camera on. And when I call your name, you say present. Solo déjenme pedirles encarecidamente que, por favor, todos, toditos, vayan finalizando ya el trabajo de plataforma para que no esté en la última hora, que no se pudo, que hay que esperar, que no. Hay que empezar a terminar ya. ¿Ok? Para que no tengan contratiempos. Si hay alguna duda, por favor, díganme. Yo siempre estoy abierta a contestarles, ¿verdad? Que a nadie he dejado con la pregunta. ¿Ok? Así que con gusto, con gusto yo los apoyo. Vamos a ver. Carlos Vladimir Rodríguez Díaz. Present. All right. Cecilia Yasmín Menjibar Soto. Claudia María Guerrero Mejía. Claudia, uh, she was just a listener tonight. Darío Antonio Alvarenga Gómez. Eh, Daisy Elizabeth Recinos Álvarez. Fíjense que el día de hoy le tocaba a Norma, pero Norma no está conectada a la sesión uno a uno. Um, ¿Alguien quisiera quedarse? Con gusto. Si quiere hacer las tareas en este momento conmigo, las terminamos. Ok. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Ok. ¿Was it Eduardo? Ya se nos fue Eduardo. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. Tell me. Present. Present. Ok. Good night. Claudia. Claudia, Claudia. Sí, Claudia. Ahorita chequeo. Muy bien, gracias, Claudia. Ok, Imelda, gracias. Irma Stephanie Carranza Rivas. Present. Ok, Irma. José Alexander Hernández Carvajal. Present. José Bernardo López Montes. Present, teacher. José Gerardo Rivera Ochoa. Karen Janet Granado Sorellana. Luis Javier Castillo. Present, teacher. Ok, thank you, Karen. I hope you get better soon. Luis Javier Castillo. Present, present. Okay, Mariana Scarlett Rodríguez Luna. Marina Chancy Sandoval Bonilla. Mauricio Antonio Vázquez. Velázquez, presente, present. Uh, sorry, I don't know why I always say Vázquez. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mauricio. Okay, Mauricio Antonio Velázquez, thank you. Nelly Lilibet Andrade García. Present. Ok, Norma Patricia Viuda de Arrué Vázquez. Ah, por eso tal vez. A ver, eh, Oscar Noé Magaña Martínez. Present teacher. Ok, Pablo Adalberto Abrego Vázquez. Ahí sí es Vázquez. Ok. Present. Sandra Leticia Peraza Sandoval. Present teacher. Ok, Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. Wendy Marisela Ramírez Guevara. Present teacher. Que hasta el final del módulo me vengo a fijar que sí hay varios Vázquez así en, en el momento, ¿verdad? Y se me, tal vez eso sea, Mauricio, tal vez. Y si no, es, es que de plano vea la ticha. <risa> ok, <risa> people, thank you very much for being here. Do your homework and see you tomorrow. Tomorrow mm. is the last day of the class. Hey. Tomorrow is the party, the prom party, right? <laughs> Así que mañana vénganse bien bonitos, échense perfume para que salgan bien olorosos en la foto, ¿ok? Bien. Okay. Bueno, entonces, eh, ¿alguien quiere quedarse? Si no, quedamos hasta ahí. Para terminar las tareas, ¿alguien quiere quedarse? No, one. Do you? No, good night. <laughs> 
Ah, ya, ya, usted les está diciendo, no, solo uno, por favor, only one, no more, I cannot. Right. Okay, people, have a very good night. Go good night. and get a good rest. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. See you later. Bye, see you tomorrow. Take care. Hello, Daisy. Miss Daisy. Hey girls, bye bye girls. <clears throat> Marina, bye bye. Bye bye, Daisy. Miss Daisy, have a very good night.